Now to that story you saw first here on Denver 7. Tonight, board members at Faith Christian Academy in Arvada will hold their first ever open meeting. And it's a response to a Denver 7 story about a racist culture on campus. Denver 7's Teresa Marchetta broke the story last night. She joins us now with the latest. And since then, we've received an email from Superintendent Andrew Haas. He takes issue with some of our reporting and shares examples of the good the school does in the community. But nowhere does he deny the concerns our story revealed. Several parents at Faith Christian have the perception the school isn't doing enough to address incidents of racism, and they want accountability. She walks down the hallway and people say black lives don't matter. Nancy Felix is mom to a stunning and talented 18-year-old at Faith Christian. She's lettered every year in gymnastics and academics. She's a standout. She won state last year in vaults. Her mom says she's also a target. We don't feel safe. Um, she's been told to go back to the cotton fields. Felix enrolled Maya at Faith in the second grade. And she was able to go to um, gymnastics go to school for a few hours and go back to gymnastics. That's to the Christian piece is also very important to us as Christian. She says while they've worked through racially insensitive behavior in the past, something's changed in the last year. The racism has escalated. The boldness has escalated. She says her daughter's been called the N word. A student came up to me and said, hey, if I hit you, would that be considered violence or destruction of property. Greg Tucker is the teacher Felix says her daughter and other students of color often turn to. But within weeks of a panel he coordinated on race and faith, he was gone. But I do know that he's been there for 17 years and he had a chapel in January and he was gone two months later. The announcement of his departure prompted an online petition with hundreds of entries in support of Tucker and revelations of other families' concerns. We did decide to not enroll our child for the next year because we are uncomfortable um, and incredibly troubled. Maria McVicker says she too has set meetings with administrators to open up dialogue about how racism is addressed at Faith Christian. But I have heard from many students about racial incidents at the school. This is definitely not coming from one student. She says despite promises behind closed doors to make changes, the problems persist. Every mom should feel like when their kid goes to school that they have access to a great education and that they are emotionally, psychologically, and physically safe. Every child deserves that. Is every child getting that at Faith Christian? Um, I think uh, indications <laughs> are that that may not be the case. It's been impossible. She dreads going to school, but she goes because she wants to be that face. She wants to be that voice and she wants to stand up for what she believes in. And that meeting is coming up tonight with parents. We'll let you know what happens. I'm Teresa Marchetta.